Obesity means having excess body fat. Adults 35 years of age and older with a BMI greater than 30 are obese. Obesity is not just a cosmetic consideration. It is a chronic medical disease that can lead to diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity-associated cardiovascular diseases such as heart disease, gallstones, and other chronic illnesses. Obesity is a risk factor for a number of cancers. Obesity is difficult to treat and has a high relapse rate. Most people who lose weight regain the weight within five years. Even though medications and diets can help, the treatment of obesity cannot be a short-term fix, but has to be a lifelong commitment to proper diet habits, increased physical activity, and regular exercise. The goal of treatment should be to achieve and maintain a healthier weight, not necessarily an ideal weight. Even a modest weight loss of 5% to 10% of initial weight, and the long-term maintenance of that weight loss can bring significant health benefits by lowering blood pressure and lowering the risks of diabetes and heart disease. The chances of long-term successful weight loss are enhanced if the doctor works with a team of professionals, including dietitians, psychologists, and exercise professionals. What is obesity? The definition of obesity varies depending on what one reads. In general, overweight and obesity indicate a weight greater than what is healthy. Obesity is a chronic condition defined by an excess amount of body fat. A certain amount of body fat is necessary for storing energy, heat insulation, shock absorption, and other functions. Body Mass Index Best Defines Obesity A person's height and weight determine his or her body mass index. The body mass index, BMI, equals a person's weight in kilograms, kilogram, divided by their height in meters, m, squared, more information will be found later in the article. Since BMI describes body weight relative to height, there is a strong correlation with total body fat content in adults. An adult who has a BMI of 25-29.9 is overweight, and an adult who has a BMI over 30 is obese. A person with a BMI of 18.5-24.9 has a normal weight. A person is morbidly obese, extreme obesity, if his or her BMI is over 40. What are the health risks associated with obesity? Obesity is not just a cosmetic consideration. It is harmful to one's health, as it is a risk factor for many conditions. In the United States, roughly 112,000 deaths per year are directly related to obesity, and most of these deaths are in patients with a BMI over 30. Patients with a BMI of over 40 have a reduced life expectancy. Obesity also increases the risk of developing a number of chronic diseases, including the following. Insulin resistance. Insulin is necessary for the transport of blood glucose, sugar, into the cells of muscle and fat, which the body uses for energy. By transporting glucose into cells, insulin keeps the blood glucose levels in the normal range. Insulin resistance, IR, is the condition whereby there is diminished effectiveness of insulin in transporting glucose, sugar, into cells. Fat cells are more insulin resistant than muscle cells, therefore, one important cause of insulin resistance is obesity. The pancreas initially responds to insulin resistance by producing more insulin. As long as the pancreas can produce enough insulin to overcome this resistance, blood glucose levels remain normal. This insulin resistant state, characterized by normal blood glucose levels and high insulin levels, can last for years. Once the pancreas can no longer keep up with producing high levels of insulin, blood glucose levels begin to rise, resulting in type 2 diabetes, thus insulin resistance is a prediabetes condition. Type 2, adult onset, diabetes. The risk of type 2 diabetes increases with the degree and duration of obesity. Type 2 diabetes is associated with central obesity. A person with central obesity has excess fat around his or her waist, apple-shaped figure. High blood pressure, hypertension. Hypertension is common among obese adults. 
A Norwegian study showed that weight gain tended to increase blood pressure in women more significantly than in men. High cholesterol, hypercholesterolemia, stroke, cerebrovascular accident, or CVA, heart attack. A prospective study found that the risk of developing coronary artery disease increased three to four times in women who had a BMI greater than 29. A Finnish study showed that for every one kilogram, 2.2 pounds, increase in body weight, the risk of death from coronary artery disease increased by 1%. In patients who have already had a heart attack, obesity is associated with an increased likelihood of a second heart attack. Congestive heart failure. Cancer. Obesity is a risk factor for cancer of the colon in men and women, cancer of the rectum and prostate in men, and cancer of the gallbladder and uterus in women. Obesity may also be associated with breast cancer, particularly in postmenopausal women. Fat tissue is important in the production of estrogen, and prolonged exposure to high levels of estrogen increases the risk of breast cancer. Gallstones Gout and gouty arthritis Osteoarthritis, degenerative arthritis of the knees, hips, and the lower back. Sleep apnea. What can be done about obesity? All too often, obesity prompts a strenuous diet in the hopes of reaching the ideal body weight. Some amount of weight loss may be accomplished, but the lost weight usually quickly returns. Most people who lose weight regain the weight within five years. It is clear that a more effective, long-lasting treatment for obesity must be found. We need to learn more about the causes of obesity, and then we need to change the ways we treat it. When obesity is accepted as a chronic disease, it will be treated like other chronic diseases such as diabetes and high blood pressure. The treatment of obesity cannot be a short-term fix, but has to be an ongoing lifelong process. Obesity treatment must acknowledge that even modest weight loss can be beneficial. For example, a modest weight loss of 5% to 10% of the initial weight and long-term maintenance of that weight loss can bring significant health gains, including Lowered blood pressure Reduced blood levels of cholesterol Reduced risk of type 2, adult onset, diabetes in the Nurses Health Study Women who lost 5 kilograms, 11 pounds, of weight reduced their risk of diabetes by 50% or more. Decreased chance of stroke. Decreased complications of heart disease. Decreased overall mortality. It is not necessary to achieve an ideal weight to derive health benefits from obesity treatment. Instead, the goal of treatment should be to reach and hold to a healthier weight. The emphasis of treatment should be to commit to the process of lifelong healthy living, including eating more wisely and increasing physical activity. In sum, the goal of dealing with obesity is to achieve and maintain a healthier weight.